What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a portrait illustration of Harley Quinn. For today's lesson, we'll need a sketch pad and something to draw with. I'll be starting off with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Now, if you want more details on the art supplies we use, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. Now, you want to begin by breaking down the basic shape of the head. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. We're we'll start from the very top. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Let's go up to the top and draw another line going across from left to right. And we're going to use these lines to help us balance out our drawing. Now these lines are going to help us create a circle along the top of our page. So from that center point, let's move up to the top. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom. And we'll repeat that across this horizontal line, measuring the distance from the center down towards the left and then the right. Now we're going to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We're just using this as a guide to define the size of the head. We can always go back and just smooth this out. Let's move out to the side of our circle, add another line coming down the side, all the way down towards the bottom. And then along the bottom of our circle, add another line going across. Now with our circle and guides in place, we're gonna start blocking out the basic facial features. Let's start with the eyes. We're gonna start by adding a gap in between. So from that center line, let's move over toward the left, draw a short line going up, and I'll measure that same distance from the center over towards the right. From this point along the bottom, let's curve the top of the eye. We're gonna bend this up and then out towards the sides. And then from the outside, curve the eye coming down and then in towards that bottom line. Now we're gonna move up along that line. I'm just gonna angle the eyebrow going up and then out towards the outside of our circle. In between the eyes, we're going to step all the way down to right about here. Let's sketch a circle for the tip of the nose. And then from the bottom of the nose, draw a straight line going across. Let's move down, draw another line going across the mouth. Now along that mouth line, we're going to move over towards the left, angle the mouth going up and out towards the left and right side. Just add a small bracket on the ends. From the mouth, step down, Mark off the chin with a straight line. Now let's go back and add some basic shape to the lips. We're going to start with a V, just up above the mouth, and then from the top, bend this down and then across. Let's draw on the lower lip, curving this down and then up. Now we want to go out to the side and add some shape to the jawline. Let's start from the side of our circle, come down, just bend that in towards the mouth line. Do the same thing on the right. Round up the jaw and pull this in towards the chin. I'm gonna bring this chin down a little bit lower in the middle. Go up on the right. Just underneath the jaw, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck. Along the side of the head, in line with the eyebrows, we're gonna add the ears. Let's start with a straight angle line going up along the top. Bend the ear coming down and then in towards the jaw. Now from the center of our circle, let's bring those hair bangs coming down around the eyes. Let's start with the left side. We're gonna go out, bend this down towards the bottom. Let's go back to the center, bend this out and down around the right eye. Now from the center, we're gonna move up and add some thickness to those hair bangs. Let's start with the left side, going out. And we're just gonna taper this down towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the base of the neck. We're just gonna slope the shoulders, coming down and out towards the side. Now on the side of the head, we're gonna add those two pigtails. Let's start on the left. Just gonna start by curving this out, come around and in towards the base of the ear, and then bend that down towards the shoulder. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line this up, going up, come around the ear, and then bend that down. Now let's draw on the outside. We're gonna step up, it's gonna go wider as we come around. Come down and in, and then down towards the bottom. And then repeat that on the right side. Now that we have a rough sketch, we wanna clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. Now 
Now we're gonna use our rough sketch as a guide to help us refine the shape and add some more detail. Now I wanna start with the overlapping parts first. So we'll start with the inside edge of the hair bangs. Now we just wanna darken this up. And again, just adding a little bit more detail and shape as we go. So just gonna bring that down towards the bottom. And now I'm gonna go in and start adding some detail and shape to the eyebrows and the eyes. I start along the bottom edge. I add some thickness going up. And then I'll just darken up the inside. Now I'm just gonna work our way across the top of the eyelid. Just adding some thickness along the top and just work our way out. And then work our way across the outside, coming down and in. Let's add a fold above the eyelid. And we're gonna go back and just darken up the eyelash. Just pulling this up and then out across the top. And we wanna move down and start adding some detail and shape to the nose. So we'll start with the bottom tip first and flare this out toward the nostrils on the side. And just pull this up. Now with the lower lip, we're just gonna darken up the right side and then fade that in across the bottom to create a bit of a highlight. I'm just gonna layer the jawline in underneath. Now we're gonna go back and just tuck the iris and pupil in underneath the eyelid. So we're gonna start off really lightly first to make sure we got the balance. And then just go back and just lightly darken up the outside edge along the side, fading that down. Add a small circle in the center for the pupil. And it'll darken up the right side of the pupils, leaving a little bit of a highlight on the left. Now let's go back to the hair. We're gonna leave a gap in the center. I'm just gonna pull some texture going out toward the left along the edge. Up across the inside of that hair bang. And then as we get up to the top, we're just going to pull this all the way across and down. Let's do the same thing on the right. I'm just leaving that gap in the center. I'm just gonna fold the hair across the side, just up above the ear. Just bending this out and up towards this knot area. And then going across and in. So now we're just stretching the hair over towards this outside point. And just adding more shape to the ears. Start with the outside. Just add that fold inside the ear. I'm gonna go back and just add that collar across the neck, starting along the top. And just out toward the bottom. And then close this off. I'm just gonna add a bit more shape to the top of the hair. Just bending this up to two points and then bringing that down.
and we're just gonna work our way along the outside. So from that band, I'm just gonna add some texture going out and then down. And then just continue along towards the bottom. I'm just gonna blend the hair out along the bottom. Just add a few curls and then fade that out. Now I don't want to put too much emphasis across the bottom of the hair. I'm just going to pull the detail back towards the face. So we just want to get the impression of the flow of hair across the bottom. Now we're going to move to the side edge of our pencil and add some shadows and tones. So we start with the hair, working our way down towards the ear, just shading that in. I just want to add a little bit of rough texture for the hair along the inside. Also a little bit of a glare going across. Working our way up towards the top of the head. Now these hair bangs are going to cast a shadow across the top of the forehead. Just going to bring that down on either side. And then we're going to darken up the eyelids. And the head's going to cast a shadow across the top of the neck. And we're just going to shift the shadow over towards the right. So it's starting off dark along the top and then fading that down. Continue to add some more texture just on the inside of the hair. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, I'm just going to tighten up our contrast and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Harley Quinn. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want more details on the art supplies I used, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.